Alright guys, so I made a video a few days ago talking about Star Wars Battlefront nearly a year after release and talking about whether or not it was actually a good game now and worthwhile going back to or picking up nowadays. My conclusion at that point was probably not. There was still a very uh, small amount of game modes that were actually populated. The single player was very much non-existent, but... There has been an update, so I feel the need to talk about it because it's actually very significant, and this is the single-player skirmish mode in Star Wars Battlefront. Did you make it through the first 30 seconds of that video without telling me I need to get good at the game, then I'll enjoy it more? Because that's what everyone told me in the last video. That's hilarious. They completely ignored every other topic I had, things like server issues, not being able to connect to certain game modes, the single player being nearly non-existent at the time of recording. And honestly, I don't care if you like the game. If you can't come up with a reasonable rebuttal, then it's not really worth commenting. Does just saying I need to get good at the game really accomplish anything? It doesn't try to change my opinion, it just tries to validate yours. So, that's cool. I hope you have a fun life. Nice. Anyways, we're not talking about that though, we're talking about the new skirmish mode in Star Wars Battlefront and my initial thoughts on it last night. And, oh my god, it is actually really good and I enjoyed the hell out of it. What? Totally. I can't believe he just said that. But he hates Star Wars Battlefront. I do, but I hate it a lot less now, and here is why. The biggest reason that I'm really enjoying Skirmish Mode is because it feels like an actual Star Wars Battlefront sequel, an up-to-date version of a classic that everyone loved. And now, why is that, though? It's because it doesn't feel like absolute bullshit when you're playing it. When I get Star Wars Battlefront, when I was playing Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2 when I was a kid, I loved to just drop into a match on Coruscant, on Tatooine, whatever planet I wanted to, run around and shoot things in the face and watch them all die and have it be a giant power fantasy. The biggest problem in Star Wars Battlefront, the 2015 remake, is that there was no power fantasy. The entire game was multiplayer focused, and even when I was talking to other people who have played the game for up to 70 hours and above, they were saying that the majority of the game really is just spawn, shoot a couple things, throw a grenade, die, rinse and repeat, that type of thing, right? And that's not a power fantasy, that's more of a struggle to get any sort of foothold on the map, it's very frustrating to play sometimes, and I want to feel like I'm really in the Star Wars universe, not just as a grunt foot soldier, but as a hero as well. And holy crap does the skirmish mode allow you to do that. So we're going to go over the two different game modes that they have introduced, as well as the different difficulties in them, because that does make a huge difference. Starting off, we're going to go with just the Walker Assault skirmish game that they have introduced now. So basically, if you don't know what this is, it's Walker Assault, which is a game mode in Star Wars Battlefront that features two AT-ATs going towards a final objective, and there are different stages where you hold control points on the map to make the AT-ATs vulnerable, so that you can then take time to actually shoot them down and try to destroy them before the Empire's vehicles get over to the other side of the map. Now that was available in the base version of the game at launch, and it was completely multiplayer. And honestly, it was an exercise in frustration for me because it seems like when there's people playing on those maps, when it's entirely populated by actual people, all the flow in the game mode actually disappears. There was a lot of spawn camping, controlling spawn points, and just making it not fun for one side of the team. However, I must say that those concerns and that has been alleviated a lot with this new game mode, where it's just Walker Assault, like you normally expect, but they populate it with bots instead, with AI. And that's what makes it really feel like Star Wars Battlefront now. When I run around and I can just shoot everything in sight and feel like a badass the entire time, and the thing with the AI is that they don't have the capability to, say, watch spawn points and prevent the other team from spawning, so the flow of the game is actually really good. You get waves of enemies coming towards you, you have your own waves of enemies going towards them, and it just feels like the entire game mode flows a lot better. So if you were playing Star Wars Battlefront or considering picking it up, but you heard that the multiplayer just didn't work out the way you wanted it to, this might be a good time to get into it if you really want to just go out there and have kind of that power fantasy in the Star Wars universe. Because that combined with how the game looks, how the game sounds and plays now, it really does make you feel like you're in that universe, and that's what I always wanted. Now, there are three different modes available in the Walker Assault game mode. There's Normal, Hard, and Master. 
Now, the normal mode is extremely difficult to die in. Like, you have to go out of your way to be put in any sort of situation where you might end up dying. In fact, the only time I was ever killed outright was when an at, -AT just happened to hit me straight on out of nowhere. But other than that, I can go, say, like, 146 to zero. That might sound a little bit uh, crazy to you, but really, that's what Battlefront has always been about. In all the other games, you could run around and just rack up the kills for the entirety of the game. Get that power fantasy, kind of like an almost Dynasty Warriors-esque feeling. And I gotta tell you, it feels really good for someone like me who just wants to run around and shoot things. However, for those people that don't want to go online and play, there's two other difficulties that are a little bit more difficult. That being the hard and master modes. Now, these are a big jump up from the normal mode. The normal mode is extremely easy, while the hard mode probably offers the best balance in challenge for you. And then the master difficulty I find to actually be a little bit aim body. Whenever you see something, it can kind of hit you from across the map. You tend to die very quickly. Now, I'm going to be the first person to say that in this game, I'm not the greatest, but I do feel that there is a little bit uh, too much of an instant lock onto your head when enemies see you on the master difficulty. So if you want any sort of challenge, probably the hard mode is the best place for you. And I found that in that mode, that was kind of the best balance for me personally, trying to fight off against the AI. However, I will say that it doesn't seem like they improve how the AI kind of reacts to anything in those modes. They just kind of lock on a bit faster, so you have to utilize cover and a few different more tactics and, say, the ability pickups that you get, things like the squad shield, etc. All in all, though, I think that this Skirmish Walker Assault is a great game mode, and I've had the most fun in that than I have in the entirety of the game so far. I think it's a really good welcome addition, and while it doesn't offer as much single-player content as I would like, I think it's a great step forward. The other game mode that they allowed in Skirmish mode is the Fighter Squadron mode that just pits you in X-Wings or TIE Fighters against another uh, group of them as well, and you're kind of dogfighting in the sky above the different maps. Now, there's not really a whole lot to say about this mode because in the base multiplayer game, you could play against bots as well while you were in that mode, as well as against other people. So, when you're playing that one, it feels more like the traditional multiplayer, except, you know, there usually isn't one ace pilot that'll dominate one team, etc. And honestly, it's kind of just like dogfighting around for a few minutes. There's not a whole lot in the way of objectives other than taking out a transport that's trying to leave the area or something like that. I did definitely prefer the Star Wars Battlefront 2 version where you could take out different control points and different areas on the spaceships as well. But it's good to see that if I want to, I can just fly around for a little while. The map variety also doesn't really make much of a difference because with the lack of different capital ships and stuff in your immediate vicinity, it's all really just decorative. You're flying through the sky with no other obstacles really in your way aside from other ships. So I do feel like that could definitely be improved on. I'm not sure if they're going to do that with this game though, and that kind of annoys me, but I understand that they might be saving that for the next one, and I really, really hope you are, Dice. That would be amazing. Bring back capital ships that I can fly around and through and in between and all that stuff. That, that, that would be awesome. So those are the two game modes that have been introduced with this skirmish update. And again, this is a free update, so if you have the base game, you have access to this now. You won't get access to the different DLC maps for Walker Assault. You only get the base ones unless you've purchased the DLC. Honestly, I'm actually almost considering doing it because I really like the mode that much. Now, I've praised the hell out of this mode so far, but it's not all good, and I'm just going to explain what I would like to see going forward from this. So right now, we've only got the Fighter Squadron and Walker Assault modes. Why aren't there every single mode in the game? Hopefully, they're gearing up to release every single one. That would be great because that way when the multiplayer dies even more than it has, there's roughly like 5,000 people playing on PC. It can actually be very difficult to find uh, games that are active in certain game modes. Hopefully if they release the offline version for every single game mode, I can play any of them anytime I want to. I would love to see them introduce some game modes like Supremacy or Turning Point because I think that would offer a big variety in the larger player count maps rather than just having Walker Assault because that could get a bit samey after a while. And again, having in the smaller modes like, say, Blast or Capture the Flag or whatever it's called in this game, those would all be welcome additions, as would, say, the hero battles that pit all the different heroes against each other so I could just drop in with a bunch of AI like we used to do in Tatooine in Battlefront 2. 
In the future, I'd also love them to implement some modifiers and other things to kind of change how the game works. This was also a feature that was available in Battlefront 2 as well, where you could increase how many players the enemy team had, how many tickets they had, how long the matches went on. D just different things like that would be really cool. Maybe some damage modifiers if I wanted to. Heck, I would even love to have like an old school Unreal Tournament style modding system where I could throw in like low gravity or something like that. That'd be really awesome. Just for funsies. And I think funsies is the right word to describe this. It is a welcome addition to this game that really should have been implemented from day one. And in fact, I think that this offline mode should have been the meat and the bulk of the game. The entire game should have been created around this, because that's what the original games were created around. Yes, you had multiplayer, but back then when they came out, multiplayer wasn't as huge of a focus. When you bought Battlefront, it's because you wanted to spawn as a droid, as a clone trooper, as a stormtrooper, or a Republic soldier, and just mow down enemies, have some fun playing co-op with your friends, and explode things in the Star Wars universe. So all in all, this is a step in the right direction for Star Wars Battlefront. I'm enjoying it more than I ever have. However, I still think that there's a lot more updates that really need to be implemented, things like the different game modes especially, just so we get all the content we could possibly have. And it seems like DICE is still trepid and worried about releasing too much content to kind of confuse people or something. I don't really know why they wouldn't just release as much content in the game as they could. The more content you have, that means the more people you're going to please and the more options we have, the longer we're gonna play. So it would be great to see just more things added in. But the fact that now I'm saying, yes, I want more is definitely a good thing. So thank you. Please keep going with this. This is a good step. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like. I'd be super appreciative. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I am Patty Jack. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Yeah.